Hello and welcome, Sam here from Max Alternative. Here we bring you solutions that help you get more clients. Today we are looking at Amazon SES. To start with, what is Amazon SES? So an email marketing system is made up of two main components. We have a mailer and an SMTP. An SMTP is the engine that pushes out the email. If I can look at it from an analogy of a car, the engine is the SMTP and the body is the mailer. So without the engine, you don't have a car and vice versa. So how do you get approved for Amazon SES? So when you apply for Amazon, when you open an account with Amazon AWS, you get an SES account that has limit of 200 emails per day. And the biggest question is, how can you increase that limit so that you can have, for instance, 50,000 emails per day capacity. In terms of reputation, definitely you don't have to worry about um, the reputation of Amazon SES um, SMTP because it's quite high. If you get approved, you have a good SMTP. And the question is, how do you apply so that you get approved for an increased limit? So. This is my um, Amazon AWS account. You just need to, once you log in, you see such a, such a window. You just come here and search for uh, support. So once you have a support, you'll be presented with all this. And one of the questions that you want to ask is um, you want, you can view all your case. You want to create a case. Once you create a case, they actually present you with this. Looking for service increases limit. Service limit increases. That's what we want, actually. And then you're looking at these are the cases you presented. Our interest is service limit increase. And then you come here, You, there are different, uh, AWS has different services. It's a vast variety, variety of services. So for us, you're looking at SES, you just search for SES, put that, here you go. And you'll be asked, what kind of mails are you looking at? So you can choose uh, marketing, other subscription system notifications uh, for a case you're looking at, I would recommend go for subscription. And then you ask provide this information to help us resolve the case. So I'm going to put my uh, the URL of my website. Don't forget to check out our website. We have quite some good stuff. And then you're told, describe in detail how you will only send to recipients who have specifically requested for your mail. So I have created a user case that you can be using. Uh, that I would say it's, it's like a template that you can use across the board. So you can always reach us out for this template. We can always share with you or we can help you with application. So these are some of the templates that have come with over the years that I've been going through. So this is the first thing they're asking. And then you're being told, um, let's see here, describe in detail how you will only send to recipients who have specifically requested for your mail, all right? Let's see, I already have such a question here. Here you go. I want to use this. And, and you can actually use chat GPT to even get a better explanation by the way. So if I can Bring chat GPT in the equation. Uh, I want the 
technical uh, tone still to be uh, formal yeah formal uh, so that is an explanation uh, I can tell it um, give more details to this Now this is not the kind of explanation that I want. Let me redo this. That kind. Then you tell it to do the magic. Look at that. I, I guess these guys um, require the details. So we're gonna definitely provide them a detail that they need. So There you go. I'll bring it here. Then you told describe in detail the process that you will follow uh, when you receive bounce, bounce and complaint notifications. Again, I have that answer here. Here you go. Just need to copy that. I'll do an explanation long enough is that and you are told will you comply with um aws terms inside of course you say yes and then which region uh are you, are you applying in my case i'll pick um northeast northern virginia and then I'm gonna do 50,000. That is a limit that I want to increase. And then you can actually make multiple requests in different regions. So, but for now to play it safe, I will recommend just make one, one application. Then you have the user description here. So I have a user description. Here it is. Again, I want to tell ChatGPT to uh, provide me with more, more technical information to sound more appealing. So there you go. Perfect. Sounds like what you're looking for. So I just need to copy this. There you go. It's, it's quite resistible, I believe. It's a company that supports our content creators in growing their businesses no one use content creators i just want to say that was a support um b2b or b2c the company that supports supports a small and medium in growing their business uh, blah 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 and there you have it you can copy these as well
perfect sounds perfect to you as well i think all right let me see if there's anything else that i've left out confirm let me see if i can add some more meats You can also add this, how you plan to build your list. Let me add this in the user case. You want to give as much details as you can so that your application sounds uh, really appealing. I also want to add these as well. See, there's something more that I need to send. Sounds perfect to me. So let me add this here. Let me improve this. Also, in terms. That sounds good. remember these are not things that they will be checking once you get approved what they will be checking is the health status of your system so in terms of uh, you don't have very high bounce bounce rate your complaint rate is quite low that is what will be mattering most when you get approved let me remove this leave it at that that way that's good Perfect. So time to hit apply. Seems everything good to me. Perfect. Time to hit, uh, submit your case. So the, the main thing here is, um, and then you will wait now for a reply from these guys, but the main point here is you need to ensure that uh, you do a very solid a very solid application and uh, look at that application i believe you to be irresistible yeah having quite some good information in there and then um, the other thing you always need to have ensured is um, you have verified your domain and your and, and the email if you come to amazon scs here this is actually the starting point before you can apply ensure that you have uh, verified a domain in the region that you be applying as you've seen so if you come here to verified identities the domain is here and the email is here both very uh, verified how you verify that is you come here to create identity and then you create a domain once you add a domain here, you'll be presented with um, uh, a records. For instance, assuming this is our uh, domain. That way. And create identity. So once you create identity, uh, you will be, these are the records that you need to add to your domain. See them. And don't forget you copy from here that way. You don't copy all this. This part will be auto-generated by your domain registrar. So you copy from here that way. And then you add a CNAME record to your domain registrar. And then you copy this. You do that, these three records. And for the email, 
you come to create identity once you verify it will be auto verified takes a few minutes and then for the email you put in the email address a link will be sent to that email address and once you click it it is automatically verified simple and straightforward so i believe this video has been helpful and i wish you well in your application in case you have any challenge or you need help in doing the application we can always do that for you here and i hope you'll be able to get more clients by having an increase in um, your sending capacity of your emails thank you so much see you on the next one don't forget to subscribe and like and share we love you thank you for the support bye for now